Hey guys, what's going on? It's Caden Cleveland here with the Oklahoma Senate, and you're joining us for another episode of Budget Breakdown. Of course, with our appropriations chair here in the Senate, Senator Roger Thompson. Senator, thanks for having us again this week. Man, welcome back. Always Absolutely. good to have you back Absolutely. in the office, and we're going to talk budget numbers again this week. Some real and, numbers. Uh, some real numbers, yeah. and I'm excited. We do this every week, kind of keep the folks up to date. Uh, last week, uh, two days ago, time, time flies, flies around yeah, exactly. here, but on the 20th, we had the Board of Equalization meeting. And for those who may not be aware, the board is made up of the governor, the lieutenant governor, the auditor, the treasurer, the attorney general, the state superintendent, and the president of the board of agriculture. Right. All of these are elected by the people, except for the president of the board of agriculture. And we've been an agriculture state for a long time. Right. And so that they need to be there protecting their interests. But those seven people are those who will look at the numbers. Right. And then they will confirm those numbers that this is our revenue we gotcha. will be working for this year. Gotcha. So just to, just to understand this, the Board of Equalization, yes. they meet back in December, yes. correct? And they come up with that preliminary number, which is the number that we've been talking about. Six. It's the $612 million, which That's is the right. original prediction That's they right. came out That's with. Right. And then so these individuals get together, and they get back together in February, which they just did two days ago. Right. And they actually come up with that solid uh, appropriation amount, that total number, right. uh, and, and the new number was uh, $574 million ish correct? That's correct. And so these numbers, 574 is now a certified number okay. by the Board of Equalization. So that is our number we'll be working for in addition to the other revenue that we've had uh, for the last year. Gotcha. And so when I look at that total number, uh, we are, we'll be looking at probably around about $8.2 billion. So that, the 8.2 yes. is the total big number. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, and that 574 is above that's right what we were what, what the Senate or what the, what the legislature was able to appropriate last year that's right okay gotcha. that's right and, yeah. and so what we need to know about this number is that we've got a lot of demands right matter, matter of fact uh, probably about three billion <laughs> in demands out yeah. of 574 million here's some things I do know I do know that we have to pay 70 percent of the abalone now the total number of abalone reimbursement is about 142 million dollars gotcha and uh, but 70% goes into common ed. And so when it goes into common ed, we try to pay that from the general revenue. Fund. Gotcha. Okay. So 70% of this number is 99.6. So we'll be paying that. Our graduate medical education, we've talked about that before. We've got to pay $63 million this year. We had a Department of Corrections bond, $116.5 million last year. Our right. payment is $7.1 million. The capital bond, 19.3. And uh, so we've got to pay those. This is the Children's Hospital Insurance Program. It's right. being paid by the federal government. They've cut back from about 96% funded down to 87. So right. we've got to pick up a tab of okay. $14,815,726. And then last year, we left the court reporters out of the state races. Right. So we've got to go back and fix that. We want them to pay. Absolutely. And it's about $344,000. So we go from 574. We lose two hundred million just right off. We're down to three seventy before we wow. ever start handling anything in education, right? Justice reform, DOC, or the needs of the state. Okay, so just backing up real quick, make sure I'm understanding this right. Absolutely, five hundred seventy-four is the number that is the legislature has above what y'all were able to expand last that's, year. That's correct. These numbers in red here are the the uh, I guess immediate expenses that must be looked at before. This number can be, right. can be expended out and budgeted out to the state agencies. Is, am I getting that? Uh, right. That's exactly okay, right. Gotcha. Uh, exactly right. Okay. And so we have the budget proposals coming in. And, and let's just say, uh, we're, we're just talking. Right. Uh, but, you know, the House passed off the teacher pay rates. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's $1,200. If that were happened to become law, that's $70 million. Wow. Just that one day. So we dropped $70 million off just right quick. Wow. Okay. And uh, whenever we look into whether we're treating hepatitis C, we're looking right. at anyway, 12 or $15 million. Uh, and yesterday in the committee, in the Senate Appropriations Committee, my right. committee, we passed open carry, and it's going to go to the floor. Okay. And it'll have somewhere between a 4 and a $6 million price tag for that. Really? And okay. so we'll have to offset some of that revenue over to OSBI. Wow. And so you can see this number is going to be chipped away yeah, just, just pretty quick. It kind of keeps going down. We could keep adding the red ink uh, right. just to keep going down. That's wow. exactly right. Okay. So uh, I guess moving forward... Uh, Give us your perspective on this. Is it is it an exciting number that the BOE came out with? Is it uh, are you still optimistic after after getting this new number? You kind of give us your your thoughts. My fifth year, you know, my, my first year we were down by about six hundred million. Right. My second year we were all over a billion. I think one point two or three short. These right. are all short. Uh, I think we we're down eight hundred million the next year. Last year we we're down about six hundred million, and so this is my first time 
in the legislature right. that we've got a number to the plus. The first time there's a green number. That's exactly right. One. That's exactly right. So I'm pretty excited about that. Okay, well, awesome, right? Gives us a, a great kind of uh, starting point moving into the uh, the budgeting process right. for the legislature. Let me ask you this. Um, with this, now this has been a, a big deal, you know, there's going to be additional appropriation dollars, you know, that, that people have been reporting on, and everybody's been speculating, where's this money going to be really focused on? Right. Uh, can you give us kind of in, some insight on, on, on what that's going to look like? So you're looking for trade secrets. That's exactly, that's exactly right. what I'm right. looking for. Insider, you know, insider when we look into the Senate, education is a high priority for Absolutely. us. Okay. And uh, what we're going to do in education will remain to be seen as we go through there. Okay. It's a high priority. Uh, justice reform is a high priority for mm -hmm. us. Uh, the uh, legislative office of financial transparency. Right. So we can really dig down the numbers. That's a high priority for us. And so I would anticipate working with Pro Tem Treat uh, as we begin to look at these other numbers. Right. We're going to stick to our priorities. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, Senator, uh, thank you for walking us through that. That's, yeah. that, that just gives us uh, an amazing view on, on where the budget process is starting. The last few weeks, we've been kind of been able to speculate right. on numbers, right, right. but these are the hard, these are hard numbers. real numbers that we will be moving forward with. Is that right? That's right. Awesome. Absolutely. Well, cool. Thank you for walking us through that. Look forward to seeing Absolutely. you next week. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us, and I, I guess, I hope this has been able to just been educational for you, knowing where the starting point is for the budgeting process here. Uh, if you have questions, feel free to comment below this video. We'll, we'll get back to you on on uh, answering those as far as the budget goes. And uh, do you have anything else to add? Yes, sure. Awesome. Thanks for dropping by. Guys, thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye.